Hello, so I'm going to make a new cylinder, a new uh, mix of uh, wax and steric acid and um, I'm going to show you the process. I will make several videos and I don't know, I don't know if later I would put them all together or, uh, or individual, individual videos, I don't know, because I tend to make the videos uh, as unedited as possible. So first of all, what do you need? You need a scale. You need to know how much wax you need for a for a cylinder. So it's almost 150 grams. So I'm going to make 200 grams of uh, mixture, and um, like that, I will have some uh, some to spare because then you have to trim the the sides of the mold. So it's better to make a little bit more than, than uh, be short. So I'm going to make a mixture that is, um, I'm going to make 200 grams, so I will put 140 grams of uh, 74 degrees paraffin, and then I will add 60 gram of steric acid. This is tough. This thing, I have, I have it in a double bag because it stinks. It's horrible, the smell. So that will give me a 30%, 70 30% ratio of uh, wax and steric acid. So, what do you need for uh, melt, uh, melt the steric acid and, and wax? A steric acid. In this case, it melts about 75 degrees. So I'm going to melt first the steric acid, and then I will I will raise the temperature and add the wax. Okay. So first, I'm going to measure 30 grams. Sorry, 60 grams of steric acid. Okay, so let me pause the video because I have to to heat the double boiler, and then we come back to you. And you see, the double boiler is a um, big bowl with a small one with uh, a grid. Uh, one thing you have to use specific um, kitchenware when you are dealing with wax because. Wash get, gets everywhere and you will never be able to, to clean it. And also it's better to use, um, how you call this, uh, inductive uh, kitchen. So you don't, you don't have an open flame and you are minimizing the risk of, uh, of um, burning your house down. Then you always need to put the lid and always have a term thermometer that is here. So you are continuously monitoring the temperature. So you are always as far as possible from the flash point. Okay. So I'm going to heat this. It doesn't matter to have a um, paper between the kitchen and the pot because the heat is generated inside the, the, the metal. So it does not burn. Okay, it's, it looks scary, but it is not. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, and as uh, soon as this is uh, the water is boiling, we will have here, uh, well, not boiling, around 60 to 70 degrees. I'm going to um, to put the steric acid. Okay, see you later. Here we are again. I'm uh, at uh, 65 degrees. So I don't need I don't need uh, much more heat here. I have lowered the, the fire. 
fire the temperature, sorry. Let's add the steric acid. And let's melt it. Really well. So now things start to go a little bit quicker. Now we need 140 grams of wax. So this is one hundred. One hundred here. And I need to add forty more grams. I'm going to prepare the mold and I will come back. So here we are again. The wax is ready. You can see it there in the corner. Now we have to prepare the mold. The mold, what I use, it's not a box obviously. I use a box to, um, in case something is spilled, uh, the wax will be inside the box, so I will not make a, a big mess. So I have to put some oil so the wax does not stick to, to the mold. I will remove 
it until it's almost dry because if not the surface is not perfect so this comes here then I have a core that is lined with a very thin paper a wax paper okay because I have to remove the core as soon as possible to allow the wax to shrink a little bit and then it, it releases from the sides of the of the mold. So again I put a, a little bit of oil I put the liner and here it comes. And then both halves. They're very thick. Why they're they are thick? Because I need them to keep the heat of the of the wax so it doesn't melt too quickly. So it does not crack. And here What I usually do is to bend this a little bit to make easy the pouring like that. Okay, and I have to put a brace. It's just an humble wire because simple solutions are always the best like such so here we go mold is ready everything is ready wax is ready temperature is uh, let me show you the temperature here Still racing almost seventy degrees. Okay. Seventy lows we are. Sorry for the shaking. Okay, so now you see it's, I don't know if you see it, it's a little bit higher than this base, so it's okay. It's full, completely full, now it will shrink, so we'll come back. Yeah. Okay, 
So now I have to be a little bit patient to let it, let it cool and I will come back in about uh, half an hour to uh, 45 minutes. So I will remove the core and sometime later I will remove the, remove the, the outer shell. Okay, bye. Here we go again. I had a little problem with the, with the camera of the phone. It was not attached correctly, so it was taking pictures instead of of video. And uh, because I was pressing one of the buttons, so um, what uh, you didn't saw is um, pulling the core from the mold from, from the mold here. And to my surprise, instead of pulling the core without the wax, with this mix. I was kind of uh, expecting this also, but uh, not that that evident. The steric acid, one of the things that happen when you put steric acid is that you promote the shrinkage. So it shrinked really uh, to the point that when I pull the core, I pull it with the wax in one piece, very easily, very smooth. So then I had this on top and uh, as you saw before, this was on top of the mold. So this was also a little bit uh, shrunk and it was a little bit tight here. So I took a, a blade, I cut it round, and now it's time to just let me take a clean paper to try to remove it from the core. like that okay what I have now is the core is still a little bit warm I, I didn't wait as much as, uh, as I told you 45 minutes because I just checked it and this mix cools much faster than the wax with the colophony so now what I have to do is to remove the inner paper. I don't expect to be a big problem. Very easy. Piece of cake. Okay. So my friends, here is the second cylinder, completely different compound. I really like this one. I have to cool it. And now I have the colophony one and the paraffin colophony with uh, paraffin paraffin and uh, steric acid with paraffin. I will, I will check then uh, which one works better. And tomorrow I will make another one with another uh, compound of uh, steric acid that is called stearine, uh, vegetable stearine. So I will be able to compare all of them. Thank you, bye.